Well, we're well into 2020 now. Everybody's back. I'm really optimistic for the Castavoli for 2020 and for the county. There's been quite a bit of good news. As you know, the government has indicated there'll be more money for policing. That should equate to around about 140 odd extra officers for the county. We're already well ahead of that. We already have 77, which uh, the county paid for themselves last year. They're coming online very shortly and a few more from before that. So I'm very, very optimistic. What is really great news, the Constabulary here have balanced their budget this year, so we can now start to really invest in the things that are important to the people of Gloucestershire. What I'm trying to do with the Chief Constable is to work out the, the kind of policing that the public should reasonably expect of their constabulary. Some of that focus was lost because, frankly, the money wasn't there and the officers weren't there. It was over 300 officers we lost in the last 10 years, but they're coming back now. So what is it that the public can reasonably expect from their police? What do you expect when your house has been burgled? What do you expect if you report antisocial behaviour? What about when you call the police? What is reasonable? Not what would you love, but what would you actually accept as reasonable? We must train officers. We haven't had the officers to train the last few years, but we're now opening the Sabrina Centre down at Barclay, a state-of-the-art training centre. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. The Chief and I are totally committed to that because you've got to have a well-trained workforce, a good place where they can learn and even actually relax because their job is stressful. So when they go to train, they need to be able to unwind slightly and get into a learning environment. I've got to say a thank you because actually we pay a lot for our police in this county. We don't get a, a great deal of support from the government and that's not a political point, that's just the reality. We pay for about 50% of our, our police in here through your local council tax. So we've got to get it right. We've got to serve the public here and we've got to deal with the day-to-day -day bread and butter policing and then we can start to look at the more specialist work which of course is important.